The Social Democratic Party is holding a meeting of its Central Committee today. The main items on their agenda is a vote on whether or not to eject former Finance Minister Slav Galinic from the party and an analysis of the results of the elections for European Parliament. Addressing those gathered, party presidents and Croatian Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic called on the party's 101 committee members for their continued support as party president and prime minister. The session was then closed to the public. According to the latest Kro Demoskope opinion poll, the opposition HDZ has the strongest approval rating, while support for the SDP continues to decline. The two strongest parties are followed by Orach, the Labour Party and the HNS, a key member of the coalition government. One quarter of respondents are also in favor of holding early elections, noting that this incumbent coalition government has no future. The state prosecutor's office has determined that the Croatian Bank for Reconstruction and Development did not provide favorable terms when issuing a loan to a company owned by former assistant finance minister Branko Shegon. It did, however, establish that there were misdemeanor elements pertaining to a conflict of interest and has subsequently issued a proposal for an indictment against Shegon's son. The Shegon case is one of the reasons behind the conflict between Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic and former finance minister Slavko Linic, which resulted in Linic's sacking. An indictment for fraud against the Rijeka businessman Jozo Kalim has been confirmed. Kalim, a family friend of former finance minister Slavko Linic, is suspected of white-collar crimes netting him more than 13.5 million euro. The former head of the tax office and current SDP MP Nada Chavlovic Smiljanic remains the focus of a corruption investigation into her activities as the head of the tax administration. This after a court rejected her appeal against the investigation. She is suspected of trading an in influence. Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic has announced that a law on repairing flood damages in eastern Croatia will be put into procedure next week. The law is supposed to clearly define the responsibilities and tasks of each ministry as well as how the repairs will be financed. The Croatian national football team beat Australia 1-0 last night. The friendly was the team's last warm-up ahead of its World Cup opener against host nation Brazil on Thursday. In another friendly, Brazil beat Serbia by the same score. Predominantly sunny with some passing cloud cover. Winds will for the most part be mild with a moderate west-northwesterly on the coast, southwesterly in the south. Highs will be between 25 to 30 degrees Celsius.